Hi everybody, welcome back. This is AJ Grossman and I want to show you that the other day I had put up um, a screenshot, let me fix the camera a little, of my inventory. This is a very big file. This is done in Excel. You don't have to buy expensive software or anything. And this is my painting inventory. So everything I give a number to, even though they have a name, it's just easier to reference from a number. And since I created them all, I pretty much memorized their names. So for example, this one here, I want to see what the details are. And this is number 2015. And I go along the bottom of my tabs and I click on 2015 and it gives me the details. It tells me, oh, I have this type error. It tells me the name of it. It's called Hurricane. The year it was made, which I didn't put in, so I'm putting in now. It tells me it's encaustic with a shellac burn. It gives me the dimensions, the substrate, the price, any information I want to have. So anyone that's up here, I can just go in, click around, and get a bigger picture of what I want. Some of you of my photos you'll see have black on either side, and that's because they're formatted for when I do entries. Um, for the call for um, artistentries.org require formatting, so I just kind of default and do that automatically. Um, so now we're going to start for one. Let me just save that for my correction. Um, and we're going to start um, a new one. So most computers have Excel in it. Um, you don't have to buy a fancy program. When you open up Excel, you'll always see it defaults. And you'll see on the bottom over here that the sheet one, two, and three. So even though you don't have to know the whole program, the first thing I always tell everybody to do is go in, save it to somewhere you'll know, and we're going to call it Painting Inventory. And I always make it first. So I save along the way, so if anything happens, I don't have to worry about it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to name the first sheet, and to rename a sheet in Excel, you right-click on it. It's going to say Rename, and we're just going to call it, I call it Cover Sheet, you can call it Inventory Over, you can call it whatever you want. Then we're going to click on sheet number two. And I like to number everything, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click again. We're going to hit rename. And we're going to start with 100, just to make things easier. So the first thing I do is, you can also make this your master sheet if you like. First thing I do is I'm going to put out the information I want. Now, I've done this before, so I scroll down to line 24 because I've done it so many times. And I put down the file or the number. I put down the name. I put down the medium. And you can make a list in whatever you want. I put down my dimensions and I always do height by width, oops, by width, by depth. And I always indicate it. Let me put that in little place like this. Height by width by depth. So that way whoever looks at it will understand it. Um, I put in the substrate so we know if it's on wood or gallery wrap. Um, I put down if it's from a series or a collection. Um, I put down, of course, my price um, and any other details I may want to put. You can customize that. And here, this is my basic template. So the first thing we're going to do is now we're going to go into, and um, hopefully you took all your pictures and adjusted them all in Photoshop that you need. And I go up to cell number B4, and I only do that because I've done this so many times. And I go into the tab that says Insert, and I hit on Picture. It happens to default already to my picture file, and I'm going to grab a picture, and I'm going to hit insert, and there it goes. This picture's too big. If I look on the top of Excel over here, it's going to, a pink box comes up, it says picture tools and format. It does not do that in the older versions, it just says format. You don't get this highlighted part. So if I go all the way over here, if you could see where I'm pointing over here, it gives me the size and it's telling me that it's over six inches on both sides. That's too big for my file because I want to be able to see the entire thing in my screen. So I'm going to click on the top box that says height and I'm just going to put a number three in and hit enter. And it's automatically going to proportional size whatever I want. But I find that anything within three inches seems to fit in on my screen so it's easy if I have a client here that I can click through. Now I'm going to put in all my information. So this is going to be file number 100. This art happens to be called, the name of this work is called Brick. This is encaustic wax with graphite powder. So you would put in whatever you were using. I happen to know this is a 12 by 12 by one and a half inch measurement. The substrate is a paneled wood I just called it paneled wood. There is no series. Um, 
one of the things I forgot to add in here was the year it was made. Year is very important, and this was happened to me in 2008. And the price for this is wholesale at 350. Um, and I don't have any additional details I'm going to put in. It was fused with a 200 watt bulb just so I have a reference if somebody wanted something interesting. Now it's done. When I do this, and every time I do this, I get very nervous that the system will crash. I always hit my save button, so I'm always backing up. Now that's one done, really simple, right? I'm gonna now click on my photograph. I'm gonna hit Control C. If you have to, you can use the other commands for copy. Control C is universal for copy. It'll work also in a Mac as well as a PC. I'm gonna to go to my tab that says Cover. I'm going to scroll up to the top. I hit Control V, which is for paste. You can hit paste if you want to. It's much faster when you use the key commands. But this is too big. I want to have those little squares all across. So I'm going to go back over. I have my picture tools. I'm going to have to click on it for the formatting. It comes up. And now, of course, it's telling me that it's three inches because I just did that. But I want it little. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to, going to hit 1. And it's really simple, again, because it's just going to automatically size it down. And underneath, I'm just going to put 100, because that's the number I gave it. Simple, right? So there it is. Now I have more art I'm going to do. But I don't want to have to keep rewriting all of this information. So to make it really simple, I click on the tab that says 100. I right click. You're going to see the fourth one down. It's going to say Move or Copy. I'm going to click on that. It's going to ask a little box. It's going to say create a copy. I'm going to click that. But I want it to come after sheet 100, so I click on sheet 3 and I hit OK. And I just duplicated my page, because you could tell because it says 100, and then it says in the parent in parentheses a number 2. But remember, this is just a duplicate. So I'm going to go erase my painting. I'm going to grab all the information I typed in and delete that because I just want to keep this information here. I'm going to right click on the 100. I'm going to rename it to 101 because that's my next file. Very simple. I go back up to the top. I go to insert. I go to picture. I go down. I'm looking for my next picture to put in. And I'm looking and that picture is going to go in there. Once again, this picture is very, very large. So I'm going to go back up to my format. I'm going to go back over. I see that it's almost 8 inches wide. I'm going to click on that. As you can see, it becomes highlighted. I don't know if you can see in here. I'm going to hit number 3. I hit Enter. And bingo, it made it tiny. Once again, I'm going to type in this file number 101. This one is an untitled piece. It was just a study. The medium is encaustic with oil paint. I happen to know that it's 14 by 11. The substrate is hot pressed watercolor paper. Paper. There is no series. The price will just put 150 for argument's sake. There is no other details. The year was 2009. That's it. Now I go back up. I'm going to grab my picture. I'm going to control C with my key commands. Go back to my cover page. I like my things going this way. If you want, you can go them this way. So I click on the next box, Control V. Just pasted it in, but you see it's too big. I go back up top to where I format. I scroll, oh, I roll over where it says height. I type in the one, and it redoes it for me. And I put in 100. I'm going to do it one more time. So now I'm going to duplicate this page, and I always do the last page. I right click. I go move or copy. I said yes, create a copy. I move and I click on sheet three. I hit OK. It just made a duplicate. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete all the stuff I typed in, but I'm going to leave my information column. I'm going to right click on the 101. I'm going to rename it to 102. Or if you like you said, if you're a person that wants to use names, by all means do that. I'm going to go back up. I'm going to insert a picture. And I don't believe that I have a, another piece of art on here, but we'll take that one. This is a huge picture. This is 8 by 11. This is huge. It fills up the whole thing. I go back up to my format. I go all the way over to the right-hand side. I type in a 3. I hit that. Done. Great. It's small. I type in 102. The name of this was Flowers. Sorry, 
flowers. The medium was encaustic with collage. I happen to know that this was 10 by 10 by 2. The sub substrate was wood board panel, whatever you call them. There was no series. There is no price. The year was 2008. Whatever I want to put in. Once again, I want to put this now on my cover sheet. I click on it. I hit control C on my keyboard. I go back over to my cover page. I go to the next column. I hit control V. It's still too big. I go back up to my format. I go over to the left hand corner. I hit the one. Boom. Small she goes. And that's it. And I keep saving as I go. All of that took absolutely no time. So if you get all your pictures taken and you format them in Photoshop or whatever you need to make the adjustments, throw it in a folder. I have over, in my one here, over 30 pictures. So for example now, I have a, an artist now, a designer who's looking for something and she tells me that she likes this picture, number 2702. I go back in, I have the picture open, I go save as, and Word will let me change it to a PDF. I put 2702 in it. I save it. And this is what it's going to look like when it comes up in Adobe Acrobat. So I can send her all the information that she's asking for and she has it. One of the things I forgot, I would go back in and I would put um, my name on it and things like that so that um, when she printed out or something, all the information would be there. But a PDF is a small file. I can just go in and I can email it page by page to whatever I need. Um, so this is the way I work. Like I said, Excel is in almost every um, almost every computer. If not, there is in um, in Works a similar database. And this one, like I said, has currently 31 pieces in it. I have a lot more to archive. Um, but it's the really simplest way to do it. And I like the best part is when you can go back in, you can click on which one's sold, which is a nice feeling. Please remember, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email at aj at ajgrossman.com. Um, and hopefully this will help some of you keep, um, you know, a little bit more organized.